dear students uh, now we will study the partial differentiation other part of ordinary differentiation here what are the contents that you are going to study for partial differentiation it goes like this what is the basic meaning of differentiation what is the basic meaning of ordinary differentiation and what is the basic meaning of partial differentiation and in partial differentiation up to this diploma quota syllabus what we have to study because uh, it goes for application for various disciplines in various uh, types of uh, uh, volumes but here for uh, lateral entry uh, students uh, the syllabus is uh, fixed and only those topics we have to discuss and then how to apply the concepts of mathematics in engineering problems <laughs> okay this is the title now we are going to study as a continuation in the same module this is the last topic we are going to discuss and last topic means this is a bit important one uh, this goes for a function of more than one variable reference and the corresponding differentials we call them as partial differentiation here are the topics we are going to study under this heading uh, introduction homogeneous function homogeneous function comma euler's theorem next is total derivative total derivative next is implicit derivative implicit derivative and another topic is application of this in the form of jacobian that is composite function total derivative comma composite function and the last application is jacobian let me explain one by one uh, where uh, exactly we take the help of this mathematics for uh, tackling the engineering problems completely these topics will deal with uh, function of more than one symbol so <clears throat> now we have two categories of functional relations that is first category is otherwise first uh, type is y is equal to f of x otherwise u is equal to f of x because i'll be using x and y later this is function of single independent variable that means x is independent variable and u is dependent variable this is called function of single independent variable then on the other hand we are studying u is equal to f of x comma y u is equal to f of that is x comma y comma z and so on like that so only this differentiation otherwise differential calculus differentiation this is the main heading it takes single variable it takes double variable up to single variable in the previous lecture we studied now the double variable and triple variable we are going to study okay this function gives the ordinary differentiation like the symbol du by dx is equal to f dash of x otherwise that is u1 uh, we used to write y1 but here i am taking as u therefore that is u1 similarly f double dash of x nothing but d square u divided by it is dx square that is equal to u2 and so on this is for function of single independent variable now this is partial derivative what is the meaning of this partial differentiation as an introduction let me uh, give you the details here you have one as rectangle and another one as cube what is that cube you will be having the diagram like this like this okay then this rectangle i can define it as x o y system and this one this is called one direction here another direction here and one more direction here if it is x if it is y and this will be 
z. Therefore, here area I am going to calculate area. What is that area? <laughs> length into width that means x length and y length. That means area is equal to product of two quantities. Product of two quantities means length on x axis and length on y axis. Similarly, volume is equal to x into y into it is z. Therefore, this area is equal to function of x comma y. This is function of more than one variable. And similarly, volume is also function of x comma y comma z. This is completely with respect to three variables. Therefore, function of two variables and function of three variables. Here the differentiation is called that is del A with respect to x. This is called del R daba or do any sim any pronunciation you can make this is called partial differentiation at this time y will be temporarily constant when you have selected that is del a by del x that means we are keeping y as constant this is del f of x comma y only with respect to x similarly del a by del y in this case x is constant, x is constant. Here del v by del x equal to del f divided by this is nothing but del f divided by del y. Here del f by del x this is del v divided by del y is equal to del f divided by del y. In this case, in this case uh, y and z are constants. Okay. In this case, x and z are constants. And one more, from this one more, del v divided by del z. In this case, x comma y are to be taken as constants. That is del f divided by del z. Like this, uh, symbolically we can also represent like this vz, this is also vx, this is also vy. Here a x, this one short form of the notation and a y, this is also can be taken as short form of the symbol with respect to y and with respect to x separately here with respect to three variables. That means when you are going to calculate the volume, for example, this room itself, otherwise your own classroom, if you want to calculate the volume of that particular classroom, then we will think of this right handed screw system. Right handed screw system means if you think any corner, then all the three planes will be mutually uh, perpendicular to each other. If I want to show like this, uh, those two, now with a different coordinate axis, like this, it will show like this okay these three coordinate axes are perpendicular to each other that means white chuck piece is one direction you can call it as x axis and uh, uh, vertical uh, uh, chuck piece that will be called as uh, some other axis other than x that means z if you take and another one uh, you can call it as y axis all these three will meet at one point this is called right handed screw system. You can rotate like this and also you can rotate like this. So, in this case, uh, we take uh, the differentiation uh, which is responsible for three symbols, not only one symbol, right? Not only two symbols, it is with respect to two symbols. Then, the space inside, for example, the space inside means here, here, this space we call it as uh, 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 volume which we can calculate complete this space which is occupied by the uh, plane from these two coordinate axis, plane from the bottom and plane, plane from this. These three planes will meet at one point. You can, uh, you can arrange three uh, books, you can take exactly of this type, otherwise in every room you will find when three planes are perpendicular, mutually perpendicular to each other. So, this is the case uh, uh, for uh, Q from the origin this will be O this will be O, then it is a case of function of three variables. So, whenever you come across, for example, in the classroom itself, 
a teacher is a function of students otherwise in your own family uh, in your own residence your father is a function of all family members but if your father is taking care of only one son then this is the functional relation you have to refer but if your father is taking two sons or one son and one daughter we can take that uh, function of two symbols that means at a time they have to give equal importance for these two family members similarly if three members are in the family then your father is function of three members a teacher is a function of in the class of 60 students then if i target only one student to help him then a teacher is a function of only one student that is called function one to one correspondence or one to one mapping or one to one reference then it produces these derivatives and more than one variable it produces partial derivatives these partial derivatives can be uh, pronounced as daba u otherwise daba a by daba x del a by del x or do a by do x that means what you have to understand here the essence of this meaning of differentiation when you are taking a with respect to x keep temporarily another symbol as constant not permanently temporarily when you take a with respect to y keep temporarily x as constant same thing uh, it continues for example in the classroom suppose i ask the question with one student i will ask other st students to keep quiet then uh, if i select one more student then first uh, student when i asked i'll ask him to uh, keep quiet like that i am taking the reference only with respect to one suppose only one to one correspondence is that that produces ordinary difference the whole meaning is this is partial differentiation this is very important in the engineering problems where where for example in the civil engineering the beam if you take for every room the beam uh, they will put and column they will put so all these uh, beams will be not with respect to one direction they will be with respect to more than one direction then partial differentiation will play the role we calculate what are the stresses and what are, what are the strains and what is the continuum mechanics so this partial differentiation plays a major role now let me go one by one topic this is what your introduction uh, these are the partial derivatives now i will do that uh, one or two examples just to prove these derivatives by giving some ordinary uh, functional relations afterwards i shall discuss about homogeneous and then euler's theorem this is the next important part, part of it and then from this what is the total derivative in terms of partial derivative and what is the implicit sorry total derivative in terms of ordinary and composite function in terms of partial and implicit in the form of ordinary and then jacobian in terms of partial derivatives this is what i am going to discuss in the remaining uh, 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 portion of this uh, topic that is partial differentiation now we shall start this first topic as uh, uh, some problems I will take, one or two simple examples I will take, then how these uh, examples can be solved <coughs> for finding the partial derivatives. Find the partial derivatives. up to second order up to second order for the following if you take f of x y z equal to any problem you can choose any functional relation you can choose so the problem goes like this functional relation in the form of uh, a three or two more than one variable that is log of log of x square plus y square plus of z square <coughs> then how these partial derivatives will play the role for this function but first of all you have to represent this by the symbol something like u, u or uh, v or any other symbol because x, y, z you cannot use because they will act as independent variables but dependent variable is only u. That means u is a function of x, y, z. This implies u is a function of 
three independent variables. It is a function of three independent variables. They are nothing but x comma y comma z. So second order derivative. What are the second order derivatives? Del u by del x comma del u by del y del u by del z del square u divided by del x square del square u divided by del y square del square u divided by del z square. One sample I will show from all these three equations. Right? These are the possible second order up to second order derivatives up to second order means first order you have to take uh, as you have taken as u connected to x, y, z. There are three symbols, right? First I will calculate del u by del x. So what I have to indicate y comma z as constants. Then this is equal to log function means x square plus y square plus z square and then only with respect to x keeping temporarily y and z are constants. Log of this much means 1 divided by as it is and uh, uh, with respect to x means you are going to take it as that is 2x. Then this is for first order derivative. Then here itself I will write uh, uh, no problem An another one I will write that is del u by del y. Here in this case x comma z are to be taken as constants. Okay. Then this must be 2y divided by x square plus y square and plus z square. Next is del u by it is del z that is x comma y as they are constants. Then this is equal to it is 2z divided by x square plus y square plus z square. First these things should be clear to you. Let me repeat partial derivatives up to second order the possible partial derivatives are these numbers but along with that along with that second order derivative in the mixed form also that is del square u divided by del x del y del square u divided by del x del z del square u divided by it is uh, del y and del z del y and del z. So x with respect to y x with respect to z and y with respect to z. So these are the total number of differential coefficients are possible. So one one sample in the second order I will show. Now for this so first order we have obtained now you write second order that is del square u divided by del x square. Again same uh, assumption that means y comma z you have to treat as constants. It is just like uh, when we are talking to one person I will ask another person to keep quiet just like that. It is the meaning of partial differentiation. Then del square u uh, divided by del x square this is a quotient rule. Quotient rule means what? Denominator uh, x square y square plus z square into derivative of numerator because this is u by v formula and then 2 minus 2x into uh, sorry uh, this is uh, only yes it is only with respect to x I am taking right. Uh, denominator into derivative of numerator minus numerator that is 2x into derivative of denominator that is with respect to x that is 2x and whole divided by that is x square plus y square plus z square. Now this is 4x square and here it is 2x square with minus 4x square. So that minus 2x square plus 2y square right here it is minus 4x square and plus 2x square I am writing minus 2x square this 2 is multiplied to this 2y square and 2 times it is z square and divided by this is whole square and x square plus y square plus z square it is whole square that is the value. Similarly other two looking to that one you can write 
looking to that one. So, del square u divided by it is del y square directly you can write that should be x square with 2 minus of 2y square and plus of 2z square. Similarly, you can discuss the second term by writing this minus 2 to be multiplied for the second term. Then this becomes x square plus y square plus z square it is whole square. This is for uh, second order derivative with respect to y and second order derivative with respect to z. This is equal to it is 2x square plus 2y square. Okay. Here y and z are constants, here x and z are constants, here x and y are constants. You, you can write that. <laughs> Minus of 2 times it is z square and divided by x square plus y square plus z square that is whole square okay, or del square u uh, with respect to z that means keeping x and y as constants then I am able to get third term with minus 2, second term with minus 2, first term with minus 2 successively with respect to x, with respect to y, with respect to z. These are the possibilities. One sample here I will show this del square u divided by del x del y. How we have to uh, calculate these values? Here you have to understand this, these symbols we can write, these symbols you can write in the short form ux, this you can write uy, this you can write uz, okay. And afterwards, this is del square u by del x square, u x x and x, and this is u y y at the bottom, not besides that letter. This is u z z, do not put comma in between. These are the short form of the symbols, maybe I will use in the problems the short form of the notations, okay. One more sample I will show in this problem because the entire partial differentiation you can understand with this. Now I will write one more uh, partial derivative. Now to find this, to find this, you can choose any one of those two as the first order derivatives. If you choose this, you differentiate with respect to y. If you choose this, you differentiate with respect to x. And if you want to take the second one, if you choose this uh, first one, you differentiate with respect to z keeping y as constant, x as constant. And uh, if you choose uh, del u by del z, then you differentiate with respect to x. And last one if you want to take, then if you take this one differentiate with respect to z, if you take this one differentiate with respect to y. The entire meaning is not difficult at this level because you can easily make out these symbols if you understand in depth, I hope uh, rest, uh, rest of the work uh, automatically you can follow. Now let me write this uh, calculation del square u divided by del x del y, how this behaves. Now this is from the equation 1 if I take, I will directly refer that one sample I will show. Then del by del y of del u by del x is equal to del square u divided by it is del x del y. This is equal to already it is done, already it is done with respect to x. Now we are going to do with respect to y. This is commutative law for uh, uh, product of the derivatives in the denominator holds good. Then you can also write del square u divided by del y and del x that is equal to. Uh, I have selected this. I want differentiation with respect to y, okay. That is del divided by del y of it is 2x divided by x square plus y square plus it is z square. Then with respect to y means, what do you understand here? x comma z are constants. You have to take like this, okay. So with respect to y, what is the answer? denominator x square y square plus z square z square into derivative of numerator only with respect to y that becomes 0. Then minus it is 2x derivative with respect to y keeping other two as constants into 2y whole divided by x square plus y square 
plus z square whole square. This becomes this term becomes 0 because it is multiplied by 0 and it is minus of 4 x y divided by x square plus y square plus z square it is whole square. Easily uh, you can refer this and then uh, similar type of derivatives for these two you can write. <coughs> if you want you can write directly looking to this one what is where this between x and y that is del u by del, uh, del square u by del, del y del x is the same as del x del y. This is equal to u x y that is equal to u y x interchange the symbols the value remains to be same. Then for this del square u divided by it is del x del z easily you can write looking to this minus 4 into x into z you are taking that is all denominator whole square similar same value. Similarly del square u divided by it is uh, next one del y it is del z that is minus 4 into y into z okay and denominator as it is whatever this quantity that is whole square. So, this is all about uh, partial derivatives calculation for the given function. The given function <coughs> sorry, the given function you have to see it contains uh, what kind of variables that means x, y, z but this is the case of 3 variables therefore, 3 derivatives are possible. Now, I shall take uh, uh, the next uh, discussion like this partial derivatives you can calculate. It is a similar uh, type of calculation in all the problems. Here rather going for more number of examples in this case, I shall go to the next discussion that is called homogeneous function and Euler's theorem that is your most important uh, part of uh, partial differentiation you have to study what is the meaning of homogeneous function and what is the meaning of Euler's theorem and how this Euler's theorem can be applied to find the uh, value of summation of first order partial derivatives successively multiplied by x and uh, multiplied by y. Okay. The next dis discussion is homogeneous function. Okay. What is the meaning of this homogeneous function? For example, f of x comma y example if I take homo, homo means same. If you take heights of the people if it is same then we will call homo that means homogeneous and if you take uh, uh, the weights of the students if it is same if you uh, get coincidentally one student with some other student uh, weight is same we call it as homogeneous. But in the form of an equation we will call like this f of x y is equal to x plus y. Okay? Then f of x y is equal to x square plus of x y plus y square and f of x comma y is equal to x cube plus 3 x square y plus 3 x into y square plus of it is y cube. If you study all these three equations easily you can uh, uh, collect the meaning you can uh, understand what is the meaning of homogeneous function the, that means degree of every polynomial otherwise degree of every variable throughout the equation must be same that is called homogeneous function. Okay. So, now this is degree is 1 and this is degree is 1, this is degree is 2, this is 1 plus 1, this is equal to 2, this is 2, right? this is 2, 2, 2, it is same, 1, 1, it is same, 3, it is uh, 2 plus 1 equal to 3 because there are 2 variables 1 with square and this is 1 plus 2, this is equal to 3 and this is 3 that is 1 is common everywhere, 2 is common everywhere, 3 is common everywhere. Such functions we represent, such functions we call them as homogeneous. 
Now, what we do with this homogeneous functions in the case of partial differentiation? So, we will uh, derive one uh, result that is uh, contributed by Euler's that is called a Euler's theorem where uh, the homogeneous function how it uh, takes the summation of uh, uh, first order derivatives so successively multiplied by x and success, uh, uh, second term multiplied by y that is n into original function. Okay. So, now you can uh, name this one as any function this is the definition I am writing any function which possess any function which possess the same degree throughout same degree throughout comma it is called homogeneous function it is called homogeneous function so, above are the three examples, any example you can give, but degree must be same, then it is called homogeneous. Now, what is the standard form of this homogeneous function? We take uh, in the form of uh, uh, Euler's theorem, that standard form I will write that equation, I will make use for Euler's theorem, standard equation, standard equation is nothing but f of x comma y is equal to a naught into x to the power n plus a1 into x to the power n minus 1 and y and uh, plus of that is a2 into x to the power n minus 2 and y square plus so on plus a n okay, that is y to the power n is there. Here this is a general form, These are this is the uh, a particular form, particular means first degree, second degree and third degree, but this is called degree n and here n minus 1 plus 1, this is y degree 1, this 1 cancels that is equal to n and here n minus 2 square that is plus 2, this cancels you will be getting n, this is n is there. So, throughout it is called nth degree polynomial equation this is called homogeneous of degree n. I will write like this, this is this if you take it as equation 1, 1 is said to be homogeneous, 1 is said to be homogeneous of degree n. Now, we do not use this lengthier form we do not use this lengthier form everywhere, you want to solve the problems. I will take this in the very simplified form that means, a uh, very particular form uh, like uh, uh, writing uh, in the form of some ratio, that ratio is like this, then I will take this y to the power n uh, otherwise x to the power n common or y to the power n common, whichever the type you are going to write. Let one gives let 1 gives here f of x comma y, if I take x to the power n outside, carefully observe because this I will be using in the Euler's theorem, x to the power n I have written outside a naught plus of a 1, okay. x to the power n I have taken outside that means dividing x to the power n, here it remains, what value it remains? x to the power n minus n minus 1 divided by x n because I am dividing every term by otherwise you can give like this dividing uh, by every term x to the power n. Dividing x to the power n means here cancels you are getting a naught and here x to the power n minus 1 will be written as x to the power n this can be written as x to the power n into x to the power minus 1. This minus 1 I will be taking to denominator that is y by x right. Now, second term next term plus of a to n minus 2. What is that n minus 2? Here n minus 2. So, x to the power n I am writing outside this cancels and x to the power minus 2 remains like this minus 1. Okay. That I will bring it to the denominator a to into y by x whole square plus so on 
the last term a n y by x whole to the power that is n. This is our very important formula. I will write like this x to the power n into f of y by x. This is the short form of writing. This I will be using in problems. This is equation number 2 which is which is the homogeneous function which is the homogeneous function. That means every term we expect the degree should be same and uh, it must be common to all the terms whether it is in terms of the same symbol or it is in terms of the different symbols but total degree must be explained with the uh, same uh, uh, numerical value. For example, here this is 1 but multiplied by uh, this much, this is 2 multiplied by this much, this is n multiplied by this much. Ultimately, it remains to be same. What it uh, uh, exactly it gives? That means nth degree you have to define. So, this is homogeneous function in the case of Euler's theorem. Now, I will write this is homogeneous of degree n. This is nth degree of degree n. Right. Now, uh, understand this because without this you cannot understand Euler's theorem and then next part because Euler's theorem 100% uh, um, for examination point of view you will be getting 100% from the Euler's theorem and for application point of view for your engineering requirement then what is homogeneous function and what is Euler's theorem both you have to understand in depth especially in the case of partial differentiation. Now, Euler's theorem I will write. I will write only the problems because according to the syllabus what it is uh, prescribed by VTU, uh, derivation uh, I do not think it is required. So, I will use this result Euler's theorem whatever I am going to give the statement I will use it in the problems. Euler's theorem this is statement. Now, let f of x y f of x y is equal to x to the power n f of y by x be the homogeneous function of same thing homogeneous function of degree that is n such that two results we are going to discuss on the application of Euler's theorem. But only first result uh, you can expect for the examination first result and uh, you take the first result and solve for all the problems. The uh, problems will be very simple and uh, you need to write some of the first order partial derivatives is equal to some quantity. That quantity I am going to explain now. What is that? That is x into del f by del x plus y into del f by del y. This is actually Euler's theorem first part. Euler's theorem first part is equal to n into f of x comma y. This is a very important result. Now, uh, you, you concentrate on this uh, pro, uh, to solve the problems for your record syllabus. x into first order derivative plus y into first order derivative with respect to y, this is with respect to x is equal to, that means summation of these two is equal to n into f of x y. This result you remember. There is one more result. Uh, second result of Euler's theorem that is x square into uh, del square u div uh, sorry del square f divided by del x square plus 2xy del square f divided by del x del y plus y square del square f divided by it is del y square is equal to n into n minus 1 into u. These are the two results you will find in all the standard textbooks the application uh, from mathematics goes for various uh, disciplines, uh, these two results. One is summation of first order, another is summation of second order partial derivatives. Now, so I shall solve the problems on this, how uh, this result can be utilized for defining certain functions with uh, the condition that the given function is said to be homogeneous. Now, I shall write one or two important examples those examples you practice uh, according to the Euler's theorem first part and uh, Euler's theorem second part. Now, the first example I will be taking
if u is equal to tan inverse of x cube plus y cube divided by x plus y comma show that show that x into del u by del x y into del u by del y is equal to sin of it is 2u. Like this problems you can expect. This is one among the standard problems where uh, uh, most of the times you will find tan inverse, sin inverse, cos inverse and uh, secant inverse, cosecant inverse, all the trigonometry functions with inverse functions. This is one among the sample, uh, sin inverse, cos inverse, tan inverse. First you study direct uh, functions, afterwards, afterwards you can study the reciprocal functions. What are the reciprocal functions of uh, trigonometric functions? Sin gives that is cosecant, cos gives the secant and tan gives cot function. These are the reciprocal functions of the trigonometric functions. Now, uh, I shall uh, apply this result that is the summation of first order derivative n into f. That means now this problem is to be discussed with the first order derivatives given u is equal to as it is u right tan inverse it is x cube plus y cube divided by x plus y. So, whenever you come across inverse function without the coefficient of variable or constant, okay, then you shift this function to the left side that becomes tan u is equal to x cube plus y cube divided by x plus y. Now, the rearranged function is now presently this problem we are taken as tan u presently uh, that is with respect to x cube plus y cube divided by x plus y. Uh, let me explain uh, uh, two methods of finding the homogeneity of degree what number. Okay, There are two approaches. One approach we can replace x and y by uh, the corresponding products as lambda x and lambda y. Then you take lambda outside that matches with uh, x to the power n. Okay, Suppose if I take this one x cube lambda x whole cube plus lambda y whole cube divided by lambda x plus lambda y. This is only assumption I am taking replacing replacing x and y by because if you want you can write replacing x and y by lambda x and lambda y replacing x and y by lambda x and lambda y so that you will get because this is a, a shortcut method I am explaining uh, this will give you what is the value of n this one that I will notice lambda to the power 3 you can take common x cube plus y cube and lambda to the power 1 you can take common from the denominator plus y, x plus y. Now, one lambda you can cancel with this, then you will be getting lambda square that is uh, x cube plus y cube divided by x plus y. So, whatever this function, whatever this function is there, it remains to be same, but lambda to the power 2. This clearly indicates the given function in every problem you do like this the given function the given function is homogeneous the given function is homogeneous of degree whatever this power is there that is to be written that is degree 2 this is homogeneous of degree 2 because 3 is common in the numerator, 1 is common in the denominator. If you shift that 1 to the numerator, then 3 minus 1, obviously that becomes 2. So, homogeneous of degree 2 means here, that is degree 2 means that is equal to n. Okay. Here I can substitute n equal to 2, that is summation of these two derivatives n equal to 2. Now, what I will take here, this is this, uh, sorry, 
uh, this one I will name it as equation 1. Now I will write from the equation 1 from the equation 1 from the equation 1 we consider uh, what is that value uh, the function which is rearranged from the equation 1 we define z equal to tan u equal to x cube plus y cube divided by x plus y. You understand uh, in depth about this one because this concept will apply in every problem let z equal to this term that is equal to this one. Now I can easily get connection with this, get connection with this anyone because all the three terms are equal, equal to each other. Okay? I can equate z with respect to this and z with respect to y. Whatever the new symbol I am going to introduce at the end I, I must eliminate, I must write the answer in terms of the given symbol. Okay? So, that is nothing but z is equal to let z equal to tan u, you write that. Now, this clearly explains here actually how it is connected, z is connected to u, u is connected to x comma y. Now, I write the differential like this, now I write the differential with respect to that, that is nothing but your chain rule. Chain rule means z you cannot take directly with respect to this because in between u is there, z you cannot take directly with respect to y in between u is there. Here I have to write uh, in place of this e of I have that uh, dependent variable as z. Then z is our dependent variable means z is function of u. Okay? Then now this z is a function of u, we take first order derivative from this as del z by del z by it is del x is equal to del z by del u into del u by it is del x. This is one value and another value is del z by del y. In place of f we have z in terms of z I am writing del z by this is with respect to x first and this is with respect to y del z by del y z equal to del z by it is del u into del u by it is del y. Now, you substitute accordingly, what is that value? Del z by del u, z with respect to u, it is nothing but secant square u. Then del z by del x, we do not have. That means, I am not differentiating this quantity. I will keep the symbol as it is because I do require that symbol in proving that Euler's theorem. Okay? Now, this is also same, it is secant square u and then del u by it is del y. By Euler's theorem, by Euler's theorem, we can write, we can write x into, it is del z by del x plus y into del z by del y. Uh, is equal to n into z. This is symbolically uh, theorem first part we are writing. First part theorem you are due to Euler's means summation of first order derivatives with respect to partial differentiation. Then uh, I can take uh, uh, the replacement of this quantity by this. I can take the replacement of this quantity by this one. Obviously, your result will be followed. Then what is that? x into del z by del x, this one, del z by del x means secant square u, secant square u into del z by it is del x plus y into it is secant square u into del z by it is del y is equal to n into z. What is that? n means uh, n is nothing but degree 2. I have represented that is degree is 2 that means lambda to the power 2. It is homogeneous of degree 2 already we have noticed that is 2z. Okay. Z equal to what? Tan u. You write that. 
Now, if you simplify this because secant square is common, shift that to the right side, you will get the answer. That is your uh, solution procedure x into del square u over del x square y into del square u by del, sorry, this is first order derivative, not second order and uh, this is equal to 2 times tan u divided by it is secant square u. Simplify this, you will get the answer. That is 2 times tan means sin u divided by it is cos u into uh, secant square u, 1 divided by 1 by it is cos square u, 1 cos u with this it, it will cancel, right. This is equal to 2 times sin u into cos of u. What is the final answer? Sin 2u. That is your solution of the problem. It is asked to prove that is sin of 2u. That is 2 times of sin a. What is the formula? Sin 2a is equal to 2 times sin a into cos a. This quantity can be replaced as sin 2a, but in this case a is uh, uh, the symbol which we assumed as u. So, this is one problem for first order derivatives. You study up to first order derivatives only. Then remaining, I will continue in my next discussion. Uh, now, uh, what I expect after understanding, after discussing this part, you need to study how this procedure can be applied to the other set of problems. Thank you.